Mike Conley's debut was everything we could have asked for. He was able to D up Tony Parker. Now granted, Tony Parker's like 50 years old at this point in this series, but he's still pretty alright. Goran Dragic is a bit younger, so a little more impressive that he was able to D up on him. And given that our perimeter defense was a problem, it's nice to have just another guy who we can insert into the mix who can actually uh, defend guys before they're actually able to get into the paint. And he also was able to contribute with his shooting as well, which was something that Dennis Schroeder just was not able to do for us. So when the Spurs wanted to double-team Jaleel Okafor, found himself wide open, and he can actually hit that shot, which is really good. It also helps that his release is one of the easier ones in the game. That's a super difficult pass that Jaleel Okafor still managed to make. And so we won our first game with him against the San Antonio Spurs. But given that 2K17 comes out in about five minutes... We gotta get through the season kinda quickly, y'all, so um, we're gonna see two games here with Mike Conley and the crew, see how well he can contribute for us. There are a couple of close games here, so hopefully we don't uh, screw something up, hopefully we don't choke late game. We find ourselves in Milwaukee, so shout out to the Bucks, I guess. The flat top on the pick and roll, and the Bucks did not do a very good job of defending that one. Greg Monroe was just kinda standing there, which is probably one of the reasons why they wanna move him in real life. Now, Conley, he's not perfect, okay? MCW definitely beats us on that one, as um, I was baiting him to shoot the jumper, but then he just kept running forward, and I was like, well, crap. Now they bring the double on Jaleel. Nerlens can hit that shot, man, no doubt about it. You can't just leave him open from there anymore. He can definitely drop that one in. We've seen him. I mean, it took him a few years, but he finally got to that point. Slightly better defense that time on MCW. He uh, didn't really show any aggressiveness he just kind of took a weird fade away that inbound play was god tier i didn't even call the thing but it ended up being like brad stevens-esque with how good rodney hood just got open there if i can use proper english so after carter williams misses unfortunately the cpu when they want to grab an offensive rebound they're gonna do it and there's not much you can do about it but ken monroe defend okafor they're not bringing a double and well they gotta foul him that's the thing, Okafor is so damn good down there, sometimes you have to bring a double, which is why it's so awesome that Nerlens Noel can hit that mid-range. Jaleel gets that one. We're up four with not too much time left. Milwaukee's going to have to do something right now. Chris Middleton has it, and that was weird defense by me with Rodney Hood because I literally turned around, but I guess it worked out okay. We beat the Bucks right there. And then if we can go on to some other random point in the season that... Well, I don't know when the hell it is, but we're going to do it anyway. It's against the Golden State Warriors, and Steph Curry actually fouls out of this game, so that's why he's not in there. Unfortunate, because it would have been nice to see how good we really were going up against these guys with him in the game. On the bright side, we get to see OJ Mayo's weird frickin' hair, which is always a good thing in my opinion. Another offensive rebound by the CPU. We can't lose this one, guys. Let's see if Joe Kim Noah can defend Okafor. I mean, he's pushing him down there pretty easily, yeah. I mean, Thon Maker was like the one dude who was able to defend him in the post because Thon Maker's a freaking brick wall. Joe Kim Noah, not the same. And then Iggy, and his jumper looks kind of weird in 2K. It looks a little too exaggerated, if I can be honest. Misses that one, and then Conley is left just a little open, and you can't do that anymore. With Schroeder, hey, you know, that might have been a good idea, but with Conley, he can drop that three-pointer. And now this play by Klay Thompson, that was that was kind of BS by 2K. He was shuffling the ball, it was on the ground, but in a matter of like 0.5 seconds, he was able to pick it up and shoot a perfect three-pointer. That was a little weird, but whatever, you know, whatever makes it work for you, Clay, I'm all for it. Can they defend Nerlens on a pick and roll? Well, I decided to just throw it off to Ingram and, well, excellent release, so I guess it worked out for me. Should I have shot that with Nerlens? I mean, there was Draymond down there. He's pretty damn good defensively. Maybe that would have been a bad idea. Whatever, we got two points. Steph Curry's replacement has the ball, and I don't really trust this dude to do much of anything. I only just kind of dribbled into Joe Kim Noah, or excuse me, Jaleel Okafor. And we beat Golden State as well. So we're looking pretty damn good with Mike Conley. And again, because 2K17 comes out so quickly, we kind of got to blaze through this thing. The simulator liked us a lot, as we managed to win 55 games total, kind of going on a tear towards the end with Conley. And you'll see Jaleel Okafor 
All NBA second team, that's huge for him. Nerland's all defensive first team, that makes sense. I mean, our front court has really grown into something here. And Jaleel had himself a monster season, 22-11. and 11. And then Brandon Ingram took a jump as well. The playmaking is not where I want it to be, but, you know, given that we have Conley now, it's not as bad. He gave us everything we wanted, Mike Conley. And then Nerland's averaging a double-double, 12 rebounds. All defensive first team, I mean, just... The team MVP, Nerland Noel, Rodney Hood, a nice scorer off the bench for us as well. We're looking pretty damn good. And if you look at our percentages, specifically outside shooting, Ingram was great. Conley gave us exactly what we needed at that point guard position. But then also, Courtney Lee. We had questions about the two guard spot. He was great when it came to outside shooting for us. We're the number one seed in the East, which is a little weird. We have the Charlotte Hornets. And Kemba Walker has to be the main guy that we have to... Make sure to stop because he's what makes Charlotte go offensively. There's also Chucky Blackwell who I have to imagine is coming off the bench for them since he's also a point guard. Maybe he plays the two. We're going to have to pay attention to him. MKG, luckily we can just play off of him and allow him to stand on an island when it comes to three-point land. Basically give us an extra defender. Nerland's Noel is going to have to defend Scalabus year because he does have a mid-range jumper at the big man position. And Nicholas Batum's a nice player as well. So Charlotte's going to be interesting. They are the 8th seed, but they do still seem decent.